This is a short video of my trip through the earthquake zone. Okay, here's a place where the road has the been, oh, the bridge has been um, destroyed by the earthquake, so we're taking this little roundabout route. And this whole area is full of places like this where you can find, it looks like it's just not well kept up, but it's all completely been damaged or destroyed by the earthquake. And although there's still rubble around, you wouldn't know it was from an earthquake unless you knew this area. All right, here's where we're going through part of the road that was destroyed by the earthquake. You can see the landslide that happened here. And everyone's afraid to drive through this area, simply because they're afraid there'll be another landslide here. Now here's a place where you can see they have a whole bunch of bricks where there used to be houses, and they have to rebuild this whole section of the area, the city again. All of these tarps and tents that you see are all makeshift housing for these people. They're still living in it. This area was hit pretty badly by the earthquake. Oh, there he is. We're out at one of the earthquake sites that was one of the ones that was really badly hit. What's very stark about this is that here are the buildings that they've put up because the housing no longer exists in this area. Almost the entire community was destroyed. And I'm standing at the school which is behind me. And this is the housing and part of the school. The mountains are really spectacular. This is actually a tourist area. But then all of a sudden you come to these places like this on the mountain where you can see the Bear Mountain exposed. And those are the landslides that were created by the earthquake. And they run all over the mountain here. And they killed hundreds of people, actually. So the mountains have this amazing, stark reality to them of beauty and a destruction at the same time. Here you can see along this road there are more landslide areas. This is where we're going through. There were probably about 20 of them that they had to clear off to clean up this road. Yeah, this landslide, there were many homes buried in here. Many people died in this one. See how it came from the very top of the mountain all the way down. Here's one of the buildings that was destroyed in the earthquake as well. This is a place of industry here. Um, and you can see how the roof is caved in there. The whole building has fallen apart. It was a factory. Here's a building that's now fallen apart too. This used to all be housing in here. Foundation is the only thing left in this building. 
all of this used to be housing as well. It's all been torn down now. They have these makeshift homes here. They're trying to rebuild everything. You can see a lot of these blue tents are around and still a lot of people living in these tents. These are all homes where you just see all this rubble. It's not just because they they haven't cleaned up their yard. You can see it on both sides of the street too. We see the tents and then you see these little makeshift house. Here's one of the homes that they brought in. It's a whole housing complex again. Mm. These are the aluminum homes. It's temporary housing for people. Oh, the whole factory was destroyed. Yeah. Mm. Biochemistry uh, factory. Right. Uh, it's biochemistry factory that was all taken apart. This factory was uh, destroyed as well. All of this rubble in here, again, is simply because of the houses that were all damaged. So they built these little makeshift wooden places to live in, or they live in these tents. There's still a lot of people here that are very displaced. It'll take years before they can actually have a home again. This place is full of nothing but debris and rubble everywhere. You can see all of this was broken down by the earthquake. That here. That's a that's a spectacular picture yeah. there. Okay. Let's let's stop the picture. This whole factory was destroyed here. Now just rotting away. Now you're you you in the real earthquake area. Yeah. This whole town is like this, and it affected it over a million people. It's just full of rubble and tents and a little bit of housing. It's very stark and surreal here. Then you see buildings like this that just uh, didn't completely fall but have to be destroyed at some point. Look at this building, partially collapsed, and look at the surreal beauty be around it. It has amazing character to it, half collapsed like this. Look at this. This is so interesting. It would be a piece of artwork if it wasn't sadly somebody's home. If we were in another country, this would be what we think of as shanty towns, simply because the people were poor. And the people aren't necessarily poor here. This is simply how they have to live right now.
不在不在成都。哦，那你还你还很好一些。啊，我懂，怎么办？我跑。我们的，我我的车子上全包了，车子就在一个，就就看就在屋里一个。我我我没对，我老是地震了，我就把车子打了，我们就开走地下室开出去了，停在地下停车场开出去。车子不敢开，甚至是不过一过嘛，那后头都过过晕了，我就不敢开。If you look at this, it's very hard to tell that it isn't a war zone.